All right, back on this thing. So in the last episode, uh, I kind of finished off the body panels on the rear with some cardboard, kind of got the shape that I wanted, the cutout lines. In this episode, we're gonna put those in, kind of do some of those trim pieces around the edges and just try to make it look more finished. All right guys, back on the bibster. So I'm gonna pull this back section off. Actually, probably go ahead and cut those two pieces out and uh, get them fit, maybe tacked, and then I'm pulling the whole back section off. We're gonna set it up here. Gotta put the fuel cell in. Got a bunch of stuff I wanna do, but I don't wanna do it on the table. I don't wanna do it here on the ground. One of the things I wanna do is I wanna play with a new idea. So I purchased some of this expanded metal and I uh, think I wanna try to do something creative as far as venting goes. Maybe right back here in these sections. It's gonna be a little bit tricky though because I don't want it to look just like I put some expanded metal in there. I wanna kind of maybe do multiple layers of expanded metal and kind of make it look more uh, custom car-ish versus just, yeah, some expanded metal in there. So it'll be something I'll have to play with. May actually even do another panel like that. Uh, is a second, second piece to kind of play with. So nothing fancy. I don't remember what gauge this is, but what I think I want to do is. These dang Dewalt um, grinders, side grinders are amazing. I actually like them, well, for several reasons. One, you got a little button right here, you can just push it and you can rotate this guard. So, you know, when I got the flap disc on there, just leave it normal. But if I'm gonna do some cutting, the death wheel, I wanna try to protect myself. I just turn that thing a little bit and then Good to go. And technically you don't really need any tools to get this thing loose. It's got a little lock button on the back. Press that. That easy. So I've got them cut down to 12 by 12s. And then this is kind of what I was talking about. So just it by itself it just looks like some expanded metal. But I'm thinking maybe if we kind of overlap this and offset it a smidge, it'll kind of give it this, uh, I don't know, more of a, something you'd see more on a factory car, in my opinion, where it kind of gives it some dimension, I guess, is the best way to put it. And I would just probably weld them from the backside. So, like that, or maybe like that. That's what I'm gonna have to figure out is what it is I want. So anyway, not really that worried about it right now because it's I'm kind of far from that, but that's the idea. So if you can kind of envision this thing more like a triangle shape. You know, just be like, maybe like a little vent hole. What I'll probably do is I'll probably round this off too so it kind of goes in a little bit before the, the grate. Got a little trick, I'm gonna show you guys to do that uh, when it's time. But before we do any of that, we're gonna have to get this sorted out. So might as well start working on this.
So I started off by just transferring those templates to some sheet metal, got everything cut out, and then because I wanted it to be more three-dimensional, I just broke the edge on that thing and then kind of shrunk it on one side to kind of give it that curve that I was after. Initially, I was gonna put it in the English wheel and kind of give it a little bit of shape, but the way that I actually did it, I tilted the edges down some, and so it kind of gives it a little bit of flavor. Okay, I think I'm pretty much prepared to kind of almost finish all the sheet metal on this thing on the bench. Um, so I'll finish these, gonna put a little more shape in them. May play with that expanded metal a little bit. Gonna attach these in the brake light boxes, but I wanna pull them apart first and kind of finish well all these seams and kind of trim them up uh, a good bit. So I get a lot of questions about why I made this or why I ordered this table so low. A couple of reasons. One is what you see right here. Like I can work on something and it's like right here at my chest. It's perfect working height. Uh, if I'm doing something big, you can lean in and kind of weld what you need to weld. And then there's always the ability to just sit down. And I got what I'm working on right here in front of me. So that's the real reason I, I ordered this thing uh, at a 30 inch height. I'm glad I did. It works awesome like this. So, uh, I got a lot of plans for the back of this that I haven't really disclosed to you guys yet. Uh, I want to get the basics kind of done first and then, then we'll dive into what else I want to do. So, let's uh, kind of tack up the sheet metal, get all that done. Um, I want to mount the fuel cell, I want to get the brackets at least to mount the fuel cell, get that kind of squared away. Yeah, I kind of want to get as much as I can done right here on the table uh, before I have to slide it back into the car to, to kind of continue on. So, let's do that. And then to kind of make it look more finished, uh, I didn't want the bare metal just to come down and like stop and it just be bare metal. I thought about a couple ways that I could kind of make that not look so bare. One of the ways I could have done is broke that edge over and kind of made that stuff, you know, roll around, shrink a little bit if I needed to, but the problem is, is the more you work it in the tooling, the more marks you have, the less clean it looks. And so I decided to just get a length of brake line. So I just went to my local auto parts store, bought like the biggest brake line they had. I believe it was maybe three eighths. And then just bent that brake line to kind of fit the contours that I was after on that trim piece. Uh, popped a couple rivets in it or Clecos, and then most likely what I'll do uh, at one, as I finish it, I'll kind of weld that from the back side. Maybe take like a planishing hammer and kind of roll that edge around the edge of that brake line and then just seal it all up the way it is where you can see the two parts because this gives it a nice finished look, it's nice and rounded. The curves are, the radiuses on the curves are nice and clean. Um, just used a brake line tool to do that. So I'll probably do the rest of them too. Um, it definitely steps it up a notch, makes it look much more finished than it is. things I didn't do though was the venting on the back. I still got to kind of figure out what I want to do. I'm not 100% yet. Um, I'm going to play with it though. I just didn't really get to it in this video. I also am considering adding a second brake light in there. I think it's going to look a lot better. Uh, kind of played with that. I ordered two more and then kind of played with that to see what it would look like. So check it out. I got I ordered a second set of lights. I want to see what your thoughts were. It's 
So that's what I've got now. Should I go that route or should I add? Well, you're not gonna be able to get the full effect because it won't sit in there right, but should I do two? Just keep it at one. Two looks good. At least I think. Based on that look, I think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna put two of them in there. It'll be a little bit brighter as well, and just kind of give it a finished look versus that one little piece. All right, guys, there you go. Wasn't much progress on this thing. Good bit of work. Wasn't that much progress though, or at least doesn't look like I made that much progress, but that back section is definitely starting to be finished so that's always a plus right little steps a little bit of progress on the bibster hope you enjoyed that see you guys next week go do work son